Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS from 3.1.3 to 3.1.2. Now, you're going to need to have your iPhone 3GS uh, stored on uh, Zurich server. And the way you'll know is if when you're in Cydia, at the top of Cydia, you'll have this device has SHSs on file for the iPhone OS 3.1.2 you can see there it's at the top if you don't have this I can tell you now this just isn't going to work for you you will not be able to downgrade you are stuck on 3.1.3 for the time being now this tutorial is going to be on a Mac and it will not downgrade your baseband so basically if you've updated to 3.1.3 you will not be able to unlock your phone you will not be able to get the carrier unlock so I'm just going to close this and get started so the first thing I'm going to do is actually upgrade my phone to the 3.1.3 firmware um, I the only reason you'd be watching this is if you was on 3.1.3 already, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of the video. So I'm going to let it let it upgrade, and then I shall come back once it's upgraded. Hey guys, uh, I've just upgraded my phone to 3.1.3 on my iPhone 3GS. So the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download the firmware 3.1.2. So you're not going to be able to get it from Apple, so you need to get an alternative source. So you need to go to www.flexbands.d forward slash iPod forward slash firmware forward slash. Now, the link will be in the description for that, and you can download any firmware from there. So I suggest you need to get 3.1. And make sure you get the iPhone 3GS one. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you're going to need to change your code on your file system so that when you're downgrading back to the iPhone 3.12 with iTunes, it doesn't authorize it through Apple, it authorizes it through Zurich's mm -hmm. server. That's why you needed to have the open SH, SHSs on the Cydia. So, right. What you need to do is you need to go to Finder, hold on that, and then go to Folder, and you need to type in etc forward slash and press go, and you'll come to this file system in etc forward slash, and you need to find the hosts file. So highlight the host file, go to file and go to open with and go to text edit this text on the bottom of this this file you need to enter this this code and it's 74.208.10.249gs.apple.com now this this text will be in the description. This code will be in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste it. That's what I'm going to do. So highlight it, and then I'm just going to go in, paste. Right, the next bit's important. So you can't just you cannot just straight save this. So if you go to File, then go to Save As. Now. Where it, you have the host file, so you can leave that, and then you go to where, and uh, drop down the dot drop box, and then go to desktop. That's where you're going to need to save the file, and if and uncheck if no extensions is provided, use text. So uncheck that, and then press save. Now, the host file is there. It's appeared on my desktop. I can now close this host window. Now all you're going to do is drag that and drop it back into the etc forward slash file. So you're just going to you're just going to overwrite 
copy the file. So you need to authenticate it. Yes, I would like to replace this. So now you can just go ahead and enter your password for your admin, for your computer. That's okay. Now that's that done. That's fine. You can close that window. <clears throat> now what you're going to need to do is reopen iTunes. And then you're going to need to put your iPhone to DFU mode. So I'm going to jump on to, to my other camera so I can show you how to put it into DFU mode. Okay, so now we're going to put our phone to DFU mode. So I'm going to, first thing you need to do is switch it off. Right, there we go. Now, what you need to do is hold the power and the home button together for 10 seconds. And then once the 10 seconds is up, you need to release the power button. And it should, iTunes should pick it up. You should get a little notice come up like that. And it says, iTunes has detected your iPhone in recovery mode. It's not actually in recovery mode, it's in DFU mode. Now, if you get a little iTunes logo pop up on your iPhone screen, that means you're in recovery mode and this won't work. So, make sure it's, there's nothing on the screen, it's completely blank and you're in DFU mode. So, I'm going to jump back onto the on-screen camera now. It's restored. You can now restore it using the... 3.1.2 firmware that you that you can download from the website address that I gave you. So what you're going to need to do is go to restore, hold Alt, and click on restore, and then you need to find wherever you saved the uh, 3.1.2 firmware. So that's 3.13, and I need 3.12, so that's that one. So I'm just going to highlight that, and then press open. Uh, and just go ahead and restore it. So I'm just going to leave it and I shall come back once it's restored. <clears throat> okay, so my iPhone has restored and I've got an error off iTunes. This is fine, this is supposed to happen. So it's an error 1015. So just go to OK. Your iPhone will look like this in recovery mode, which is also fine. <laughs> So then what you're going to need to do now is just leave your leave your iPhone plugged in, no problem. And then you're going to need to go to Alt and Restore again. So if I go to Alt and then Restore, and then you need to select your 3.1.2 firmware again and press Restore. So you need to do this, so you need to do the Restore twice. So just press Open, OK, and let it Restore again. Okay, so after the second time of restoring back to 3.12, you shall get another error. Uh, the same error, 1015. This, again, this is fine, perfectly normal. So it's really important that you restore twice, once after each other. Okay, guys, so the next step is just close that. Close that, and you can go ahead and just close iTunes for now. Now what you're going to need to do is, you're going to need to go download Red Snow 0.9.2 from the dev team website. Link will be in the description.